I think um, Colombia has gone through, you know, through a phase where people have had to leave, you know, for for issues with, um, you know, in regards to safety. Um, the 90s were very um, sad era for, for Colombia, right? Many families were impacted, whether it's through, you know, crime, kidnapping, um, just, you know, just threats overall, and um, have, you know, have forced many to leave, including my family. You know, in 1999, my, my mom made a tough call to leave Colombia. You know, we, we sold everything and moved to the U.S. with $200 in our pockets, with many dreams, goals. And together we moved to a whole new country where neither one of us spoke the, 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 the language, right? My mom always tells me that, you know, she sacrificed, she gave up everything to move to the U.S. so that I could have a better future, so that I could have a future. Um, and so that I could be a successful woman. And those are words that I've, that I've taken and I still repeat to myself, you know, my mom would always tell me your job is to, to, you know, to go to school, to get straight A's. My job is to provide. And, and the reason why I do what I do with, within the community, within my, within my role, within my job, it's to yes, give 100% what I can of who I am, but also help others that are that are going through the same because I've been there. Yeah, so I grew up in Ocala. It's a wonderful, wonderful country town. I grew up around mostly Puerto Ricans. So it was it was an interesting adjustment because Hispanics in, within the US, while we all speak Spanish, we have a different dialect. So as Colombian, um, a lot of words were different, um, accents completely different. So it was an adjustment to be able to understand each other. They just took me under their wing. Um, they spoke Spanglish. So I learned English quite quick. Um, walked around with the dictionary. Um, I started to translate songs from English to Spanish so I could understand. I, I grew up in a city. I grew up in Cali. And I moved to a country town. It was, when I tell you it was a change, it was a change. I mean, it was from hearing cars and all day having something to do to the country where things are just different, right? You don't, you know, you do things differently. But nevertheless, a beautiful upbringing, enjoying the, the simple things of the country, of, of nature, of, and I just, I wouldn't have had it any other way. I, you know, I, I grew up, going to church on Sundays, very involved in the community, um, with lots of friends, but very genuine. I feel that I, I got to enjoy my childhood. That's one of the reasons why my mom decided to stay in, in Ocala, right? To, to make sure that it was safe, that it was going to be a positive experience and upbringing for me. And um, moving from Colombia to the U.S., um, in Colombia, you only have 11 grades. You don't have 12 grades. You only have 11. Um, so when I moved to the U.S. and I found out, I was like, well, darn, now I'm in school a year longer. So now I'm graduating when I'm 20, you know, when I'm 17. And then they sent me back here. It's like, oh, my God, I'm going to be graduating when I'm 18. So I'm going to be graduating from college when I'm like 23. So I'm like, as a child, I was doing literally all of this. So that, you know, that, that did bother me, right? Um, so, but it didn't stop me. I, I learned English, how to, you know, I learned how to speak English within a year. I had a wonderful support system from the, from the, from the teachers who, who saw that in me, who, who saw the drive. And I'll never forget Miss, Miss Amberston. She was, she would sit with me, make me write essays, correct them. Um, I had Miss Callahan who, was the librarian and on a weekly basis, she would give me a book on Monday and on Friday, I had to be done with that book and she would test me on it to make sure that I was comprehending everything on that book. 
she quickly discovered what type of novels I liked. So it was, it became a wonderful journey, but my mom was, my mom had to move to Orlando for some time. I stayed with this wonderful Puerto Rican family because we were supposed to move to Orlando and, um, and she quickly realized, she's like, no, like we, I want my, I want to raise my daughter in Ocala. But my mom went from, you know, from a business owner, um, you know, a professional woman to having to clean houses, you know, having to clean, you know, work out of hotels. It was not an easy and it was, you know, it is a respectable job because it is a hard job. Um, but for my mom, it was, you know, and like, and like the story of many immigrants, right? You have attorneys, you have doctors, you have business owners that are having to come, you know, that are, that are leaving their country behind. And then they have to start from the bottom up. And that means doing things that you've never done before. Um, and then a few years later, she got, you know, her licenses to, to be who she is today back at you know, doing sales and, and doing what she's passionate about. But it was leading, leading the First Coast Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has just been really, but a, a wonderful experience because I know it has so much more that we can offer to this growing community from all walks of life. But, you know, the organization itself has you know, has continued to be successful, but it's, it's only because of the members, right? It's only because of the work that the organization also does for the community through, through workshops, through food drives, through um, every year, the organization does award over $20,000 in scholarships to Hispanic students who are really are, you know, like they're the future of our, of our community. Our community is the second fastest growing and the community that opens businesses the most amongst any other community. So it's important to, to know that and understand that because that also gives us more opportunity to help those, to help them op not only just opening their business, but be successful while they're, you know, as they're opening those businesses.